one of the things that kept you off of the streets was going out there and like selling candy and uh, suburban neighborhoods and everything. You know, um, um, what got you into doing that? You know, like what would make you think that, and what got you into doing that? Well, when I was, um, I went to Roosevelt Middle School in Compton. I stayed on Atlantic Drive, and I was around 13, 12, 13. And they were passing out flyers after school. And it was uh, a candy crew saying you could make so much money a day. And I was like, oh, I want to try this. And I called them up, and they came and picked me up, and you know, I was traveling and making money and donate. It, it just opened up a whole nother avenue for me. I didn't have to sell candy. I mean, I didn't have to pump gas no more. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was making more than twenty dollars a day now. Okay. You know what I mean? And uh, it's just something I stuck with. Once I learned the game, I just started jumping on the bus and going to Hollywood from L.A. on my own and keeping all my money, you know. I wow. go to the 99 cent store and buy some candy and sell it on Sunset. Yeah. That's how I met my agent, selling candy up Dope. and down. I used to go in her office every day. She never bought no candy. <laughs> However, one day, you know, I heard her talking about a commercial and I was over the phone. And once she got phone, I inquired, you know, you do commercials or? She was like, no, I'm an agent. I represent actors that do commercials. I was like, what? You're an agent? Everybody was telling me, I met Martin, Tupac, everybody selling candy, Chubb, Rock, Dion Ward. I used to meet so many stars and wonder, how can I get involved? And they said, you need an agent, you need an agent. I didn't know what an agent was. And then I, I all the time, trying to sell candy to one. Wow. She never bought none, but me staying resilient and going in there trying even though I knew she wasn't gonna buy her, opened up another avenue for me to get to know her and her to get to know me. And I told wow. her that was my dream to be an actor, Mimi Meyer and um, Angel City Talent. And she gave me opportunity, man, and I took advantage of it. My first audition, South of Sunset with Harry Spears, I booked the part. Man, man I was like, Psh, I ain't looking back. It's over. It's over, it's huh? Huh? Yeah. I mean, and briefly, uh, speaking about uh, uh, Tupac, you know, I read kind of like a story where uh, I guess you cussed him out or something like that because he didn't buy candy or yeah, something. Yeah, like, yeah. What, what's like the story that happened with that? I was uh, I was trying to sell Pac some candy. He was at a tattoo parlor that they used to have on Sunset that was right across from the comedy store. Okay. And um. You know, I see Pac, I'm like, man, I'm selling candy. He's like, I don't want no candy. I was like, well, I could rap. And he was like, man, I already got a rap group. I was like, fuck you then. <laughs> and he laughed, bro. He just broke out laughing like this little wild child. But wow. you know, it was just, I didn't know who Tup Tupac at that time wasn't the Tupac he became okay. later on. He was, you know, he was, Known for round and round, round we go. Oh, the man. underground just, and that was his main song that was playing. So people were getting to know him. Yeah. And um, you know, man, it was just some. Um, I was a young wild cat, and you know, just growing. Man, Pac laughed it off. And <laughs> next time I saw him was at the premiere of Sunset Park, uh, and he was on the soundtrack and. Uh, did he remember like that situation? You know what? I think he didn't remember that, but I know he knew who I was from the movie because he let me in the circle. Okay. He had his bodyguards and everything, so nobody couldn't just walk up on him. But he let me and my mother come in. He gave my mother a hug, and, you know, I just told him, man, nigga, love you, man. And keep man. your head up. You know, he had just got out the and signed with Death Row and yeah. doing all that. So, and he had this look in his eyes, like a far away look, like he wasn't happy, bro. Like wow. the situation he was in, and I don't think he was happy wow. at all. Wow, but, you know. Wow, man, that's another one, man. Another great rest in peace to rest Pac, in man. Peace, Pac. For real, for real. real life, bro. Yeah. That was my mentor. He still is. Man. He's my favorite 
artists, him and then Nip. Yeah, yeah. Real That's life. crazy, you know, say so, yeah, definitely Nip, you know, Pac, oh, you know. Man. We on the West Coast, man, so you already know what it is, man. You got to. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a no brainer. Yeah, real talk, real talk. Uh but uh while you were selling candy, you had a better experience with uh Martin because you met Martin and, and oh, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So what was the situation that happened with Martin? He was in front of the comedy store and I was selling candy. I used to frequent Sunset, that was my, my, my hustling ground from Tower Records all the way down to like, uh, I, what was this? Uh, the, 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 the coconut teaser, you know what I mean? It's an okay. old club, okay. that used to yeah, be there, but just just up and down Sunset, man. And um, I saw uh, Martin, I was like, he was going into the comedy club to perform. And I was like, man, you want to buy some candy? He's like, uh, how much is the candy? I was like, each item is $5. And he was like, well, look, man, I don't want no candy. But he bought my whole box wow. and said resell it. Gave me like 100 bucks. Wow. And I was like, resell it. And um, that's what I did. I was happy. I was thankful, you know, because you be out there grinding, man. And you just looking for a little support. You know, yeah, somebody yeah. to, you know, see you doing something different than what you could be doing that's negative yeah and you know martin invited me in bro into the club i was about 16 wow. and i wasn't supposed to be in there you <laughs> know what i mean set me in the back bought me a seven up and let me watch his whole performance bro and it wow. was so fun it was amazing it was inspiring it was motivational and after he was done, he told the people in there, you little dude in the back, he's selling candy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Wow. Y'all see him out there, y'all support him. And man, I had a line of people when it was at, man, I, had, I sold all the candy he told me to keep and resell. Yeah. And got so much donation, man, I I left after that. I was good. <laughs> yeah, man. Wow, he, man. Real good brother, man. Real, real down to earth and, you know, humble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, you was bound to make it, man. You was around all the celebrities, you know. You was meeting the biggest stars that everybody know, especially from our culture. Like, you was bound to make it. And that's why I always tell people, man, you are who you're around. You know, the, the, the surroundings you put yourself around, that's who you're going to become. true. And look who you became from being around, around. all the celebrities. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And everything like that, man. So That's true. Show me the company you keep and I'll show you your... Uh, uh, your future or something. Ooh. You know what I'm talking about? Bars. Your life, man. Yeah, you yeah. see your friends and I tell you your future. Yeah, yeah. So the people that you associate with, that you hang around, that you, you know, give your energy and your, you know, dedicate your, your time with, man, nine times out of ten, you're going to either, if you were millionaire, you're going to be a millionaire. Uh, if facts. You was, murderers and robbers you can be a murderer or a robber period yeah. I mean you know it, it's no way around it because you're practicing that you're 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 lending your your will your energy your life to something and it all has a power and a purpose it's it's up to you though how do you see yourself how do you see yourself? Man, I knew I was gonna be in movies. I said it when I was young, that was my dream. I said, I'm gonna be in movies. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how, <laughs> cause I didn't know what an agent was. I didn't know how they got in movies, but I knew I was, <sighs> and I spoke it, and I said it, and I used to tell people that, and they laugh at me, the homies and all that. You ain't gonna be all right. Uh -huh. Be damn if I didn't. <laughs> That's real talk. That's real talk. Yes, sir. Dope, dope. So, uh, you, you know, you got with your agent and everything like that. You know, uh, met her out there selling candy, and and now you going into that direction. Now, did you, did you have any acting skills? You know, before getting no, none never, at all. Never been to acting class wow. or had any kind of formal training. It was just something that was in me. It's something natural, and all the things that I've endured and experienced growing up, like was something that I didn't know at that time that I would be able to utilize or that I would need in order to, you know. But it all, everything plays its 
everything has a purpose, man. That's all I can say on that. I step in the ring, my eye on the mission. At 11 years old, this right here was my vision. Make it to the top, catch everyone's attention. The haters, they can hate as long as they listen to the words that I say as my tongue keeps twisting.